What is up, MFers? I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I am super freaking jacked today for two reasons. First off, I'm at this lake which has the biggest bass in the entire area, you know, hence the Slaunch Hunter, Melican Fishing Slaunch Hunter t-shirt, go pick one of those up. And this very possibly, the way things have been going, could be my last opportunity at a true pre-spawn giant in my area because those fish are about to lock onto beds which could present a whole nother fun opportunity we'll get there in the next couple weeks but anyways a seven to eight to nine to ten pounder is entirely possible today so i am totally freaking turned up about that the second reason i'm super excited got my mystery tackle box pro box that we're gonna unbox how did that stay there the entire ride here was an hour drive and that's nah, i just put that there if you guys are not familiar with mystery tackle box basically it's a box of baits a subscription service that comes to your house every single month i know you got all these boring magazines that come maybe your sister or your mom has like a some clothing subscription box and you see it every month and you're like oh what the hell is that all about well this is tackle this is tackle in a box a very high value box that is for a very, very reasonable price. And if you use my promo code MILK, M-I-L-K, you can save $10 off your very first box. So you can go save a whole bunch of money on it. And the good thing is you're not locked in for a whole year. You wanna try it one time, go try it. Use promo code MILK, you get it very, very cheap. And you get a really high dollar value of baits in this box. And as always with my Mystery Tackle Box video every single month, I'm going to be giving away one of these Mystery Tackle Box Pro Boxes, the May Box, away to one of you lucky viewers. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you guys how you can be entered to win this guy right here. So let's crack this guy open, see if there's any baits we can use today on this sexy lake to hopefully catch, you know, a uh, uh, absolute slaunch donkey. Let's check out what's in this. Okay, so most importantly, the very first thing you notice when you open your mystery tack box, you find out what is in your box. This tells you every single thing that's in here if it's a exclusive, Catch Co. Mystery Tackle Box only item you can't get anywhere else. And of course the MSRP, which you're gonna see, you're gonna get a lot higher dollar value of baits than you paid for, which is my favorite thing about the Mystery Tackle Box. So first thing up, the Ima Little Stick. Can you believe it? They put in this bait right here. This guy right here won the Forest Wood Cup. This is like a half a million dollar winning bait. So clearly a really, really high dollar value bait. And they include, it's a 1099 MSRP. So amazing start. This is a great topwater walking bait. Next bait up, as I'm talking to myself and people are staring at me here in the parking lot, is the Perfection Lures Jig. So a really, really good, looks like a good half ounce. They, they gave you a really nice craw killer there. So that's a 599 MSRP bait. Ketchco Waggle Worm is the next one up, 429. Looks like a good uh, shaky head, flick shake type worm. You guys know I like to throw flick shake, so that is one that'll be absolutely money right there. And another reason I really like Mystery Tackle Box is for the next bait. We got the flickety split. Like I said, it works on a flick shake, and so now we have a, a rigging system for this. They like to do that. They throw in, like if you have a Carolina rig kit, they'll throw in Carolina rig bait, stuff like that. There's an example right there. So we have a whole flick shake system ready to fish. Next one up is the Strike Pro Inquisitor. So another good looking jerk bait. These are great during the pre-spawn, spawn, post-spawn. You'll see me throwing that if I can hold on to it. Good, good high dollar bait, $10 value bait. Oh man, next one is a bait I'm definitely gonna be tying on today. It's one that absolutely smoked them last time. Actually, Flair smoked me on it. And that is a chatter bait. And the cool thing about this, it's a mystery tackle box exclusive color. So black with purple, that's gonna be absolutely perfect in this muddy water. And once again, they include a bait that you can use on the back of this. So you don't need to go buy a bunch of trailers. We have them right here, the cream, real screamer. Obviously, that's got to be good. Little swim bait right there, put on the back of that. And then this is a really cool product as well. We got some soap, de fishing soap or de fishing soap. I don't know. I always go home smelling like freaking garbage. So, Miss Melican Fishing will appreciate that right there. Anyways, guys, that is uh, that's the box. I'm, I'm done talking though. I'm too jacked to get out here. Hopefully, catch some giants. Let's go get them. Okay guys, let's get to slaunch sticking. I think I'm gonna start with this chatter bait, this custom exclusive mystery tackle box only chatter bait with that, uh, that little swim bait. You get to throw it around. Water is pretty stained, just like last time. Let's see if they're still willing to bite on this little dam area and these pad stems. There we go. There we go. Those are like my second cast. Hey, what do you know? They're still fishing here. All right, chatterbait works. Nice little uh, starter fish, not the giant we're after. Just working that chatterbait through the pad stems. 
I'll take it. There we go. Oh, man. Ah, that's okay. You were small anyway. All right, well, two bites. Little ones, so maybe the bigger ones are still staged. Or maybe we just haven't come across the big ones yet. But maybe they're, they're still staged up out a little bit deeper in this pad field. There we go. Oh, I thought he was a lot bigger than that. <laughs> I just moved out here to this outside edge of the pad stems. Picked up a swim jig since uh, pretty bright outside today. Like I choked it, not the right size. I was thinking maybe some of the bigger females are staged up out here, which I mean, obviously still could be. So we're just gonna kind of poke around with a little bit more natural baits. I got a big swim bait tied on and see if there's some out here where these pad stems start. There we go. <laughs> that would be a pecker head. Thanks for releasing yourself, buddy. Yeah, I just pulled up to this, uh, this stretch of trees. You know, I, I started where we caught them last time. It's always good to start somewhere, just kind of get a good judge of how the fish are, are biting on a certain day. Now, last time I was here, it was like overcast and definitely a good moving bait conditions. Well, today it's pretty much slick, calm and sunny, no clouds in the sky. So not the best conditions, but for that reason, I left that area and I came to this area. It's, it's loaded with lay downs. It's got these docks right here. So we're going to fish the conditions a little bit. See if we can't catch a big old swatch to post. Well guys, the old lake's not being as friendly to me today, to say the least. I've been flipping pad stems for about the last hour thinking maybe they just didn't want to chase with these conditions. It's pretty slick, calm. The wind's picking up a little bit, but uh, no, nothing. Couldn't even get a bite flipping the pads. And that's going to be kind of tough because uh, there's a lot of pads. There's a lot of stuff to flip. There's not a lot of isolated cover at this lake. But that's totally cool, you know. To be 100% honest, I'm glad they're not on the same stuff they were on last time, like a week ago, a week and a half ago. Because you don't learn anything fishing the same stuff, the same pattern over and over again. So today, we're either going to learn something really, really cool, catch some really, really good fish, or we're just going to scrounge around and hopefully scrap up enough fish to get this video out. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go try some different stuff now. Maybe go back to the area where we started where there was some fish and fish a little bit slower and more thorough. Regardless, beautiful freaking day, 80 degrees. Got a damn t-shirt and shorts on, so I cannot hate it compared to what it was a month ago, which was snow. But anyways, let's uh, let's go try something new. I'm gonna go try the boat ramp, flip some more docks, and then get back down to the area where it started. Let's catch some slaunches. <laughs> okay. That guy ate it right by the boat. Come here, buddy. Man, that's a giant. That's why I came to the boat ramp to fish, fish for these broods. Man, what is up with these big fish? Where you at, slouch? Another one. God. Hey, at least we're catching fish. Picked up the old, actually this is a ball head jig. I was gonna say football jig, but this is just like, the most super finesse jig that I personally make. And apparently there's a couple pecker heads at the boat ramp. Told you guys there's like seven, eight, nine pounders in here and I swear that there is, but oh, they're being tough today. There we go. That one's got a little bit more weight to him. Oh yeah. God, I finally picked up this really finesse worm not still not what we're looking for there goes my worm actually you know what that worm floats let's go grab him and picked up this two pounder not a giant but is what it is right god damn they are crushing this worm I'll show you guys what i'm throwing just a uh this is a worm that gets a lot of run around here that i've thrown a ton but it's a lake fork ring fry definite just fish catcher Whenever you get tough conditions, almost every time I throw into this boat ramp, I'm getting bit. Usually this is a spot you can pick up one big one. And so I stopped here and I'm getting a bunch of small bites, but you never know when you can weed through those and get a big one. That one freaking butt took the rod out of my hand. And these are not big fish. They're fun though, especially on a uh, really, really tough day. Especially showing you guys a bait that I haven't, haven't really showed you on my channel. Another pecker head. Go tell your mom to come back. All right, we should be good now. 
he should, I assume he speaks English and is going to tell his mom to bite. All right, we're good. Couldn't have gone around, apparently. It was, uh... Yeah, I don't think my fish are gonna bite too well at this point. Thanks, Game of Parks. First cast with the squared bill on the riprap. It's just gonna kinda burn down this and looks like we might have to spend some time here. Okay. That's a new one. <laughs> wow. I had totally forgotten these were in here. This is one of the first ones I've ever caught. Got ourselves a toothy critter. I saw him eat it like right at the boat. He followed it all the way in. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That is a rare fish for this lake. There are not many of those. I mean, that's not a bad one. That's like a 30 inch or so. Big enough teeth to do some damage, that's for sure. I think I'm gonna use the pliers on him. All right, Mr. Pike, back you go, Mr. Slime. You okay? Was not expecting that, but pretty fun. New species on the old Six Cents Crush 50. <laughs> Gonna check my line after that. Actually, it doesn't feel too bad. All right, that was neat. <laughs> oh my God, you guys gotta see this turtle. He's so little. I'm stealing you, buddy. Hopefully you don't bite me. That is the smallest turtle I've ever seen, by far. His shell is actually like, kind of soft. They say bass eat baby turtles. Me and my buddy Kai always make fun of that. But as soft as he is, I honestly wouldn't doubt that. Here, you can be my mascot, buddy. Cheer for slaunches. All right, guys, back to where we started. Uh, I don't know, we don't have a whole lot of time left today. I kind of got to get back and get some work done at home. Haven't found the big ones yet, but gonna go back through this area where we started, maybe try some more natural dragging stuff as opposed to like a uh, full on swim jig chatterbait topwater type deal. Has gotten a little bit more overcast and you know, we found those fish on the boat ramp. Those were sure active fish. So I'm hoping maybe we can come down here and find some bigger active fish. Oh my God. Oh, I don't know how we didn't get it. I was reeling my ring fry and that bass just freaking crushed it. Well, I wanted to fish slower and then I have a fish chase like that. Makes me want to pick the chatterbait back up. That was insane. All right, reeling a ring fry is the ticket today, guys. I knew it. There's one too. Oh no. Oh, that was a big one. Broke it on the hook set. Don't know how, 15 pound fluoro. It's good stuff. I'm an idiot. Perfect, 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 perfect. So I've come down here to this end. I've made two casts. One of them, a bass chased my ring fry all the way in. That last one was a big thump and a broken off ring fry on the second cast. I think we all know at this point who is to blame. It's the turtle. Damn you turtle, wrecking my line. All right, I feel better now. No! I just fucking broke off another one. And he jumped, I didn't even see him, so. Good to freaking know. I don't know if these are the sharpest tooth goddamn bass in the world or what. Stupid. This rod's getting retired. Be spooling some new line on that before tomorrow. Stupid. I haven't broken off a fish on a damn hook set maybe this year. You guys probably know better than I do, but that is just unacceptable in all sense of the word. It's stupid. It's already low on those damn hooks. Well, MFers, I don't know what's going on here. Check your damn line, I suppose. I mean, I don't know if those are like 
three or four pounders or like seven pounders or what the freaking deal is but not freaking cool regardless i'm fishing like heavy of tackle for this now i'm fishing even heavier tackle stupid ass line there we go there we go hey look at that it was a small one so it didn't break off on the hook set how magical is that okay of course the little ones don't break me off i mean obviously that's how that would work get out of there okay not a ditch panda but another one just a uh this is just a little guy he was up against that tree and he felt bigger for a second but i mean just not the caliber of fish that broke my freaking line a little bit ago either of them that's just it was just unacceptable that's uh that can't happen while fishing that's that's my fault on that on the the line breakage situations at least we're catching fish today we could be could be blanking i guess there could be worse things right there we go oh man another not big one don't you wreck my ring fry you little pecker head seems to be the theme on the Melican fishing channel these days small fish i swear flare rubbed his nutsack on my boat or something and now it's got the small freaking fish disease mojo whatever it's got the small fishness in here i'm fishing with him tomorrow he's gonna have to undo the mojo apparently freedom run buddy you're free Go the water. Okay, bye. Well, guys, just got off the water. Um, honestly, kind of a disappointing day given what I know lives in this lake right here. But we had really, really tough conditions, and with the two that I broke off, that's absolutely unacceptable. I fish a ton, so my my gear gets used hard. But I checked my line a ton, especially after I broke off the first one. I was looking at that, and I made sure I tied a really good knot. So clearly it was an issue with uh, fluorocarbon being overstretched or something like that. And I guess that does happen over time. No, but there is something to be taken from today. And that is when it's really, really tough like today and you got high skies, you know those fish are up really shallow. They're either spawning or they're really close to spawning. Don't throw that moving bait. You know, put that little ring fry or Senko or something in your hands and just drag it really slow and work it really slow through those areas where you know that there's going to be bedding fish. And that's what we did today. And it paid off with a bunch of bites two potentially of the right bites and i just didn't get them to the boat but that's how it goes you guys are probably sticking around a lot of you are probably here because you want to know how you can win this mystery tackle box pro box for may we're gonna use the same three steps as always go give this video a thumbs up comment down below what i want you to comment is your favorite bait that was in that mystery tackle box pro box my personal favorite was probably that z-man chatterbait the custom color i caught a couple fish on that first thing this morning so that was totally badass and then step number three go subscribe to millican fishing we're gonna pick a winner the exact same way as always with a random comment generator so i'll pick a random comment down below i'll go make sure you're subscribed to millican fishing and then i'll send you that 40 dollars worth of tackle in that mystery tackle box pro box that's all you got to do but uh yeah we got some exciting stuff coming up i'm gonna go try to do some bank fishing tomorrow morning maybe some bed fishing i've heard there's some fish on beds and and there is a lot of clean water around here right now we haven't had a lot of rain so hopefully do some bed fishing from the bank should be pretty sick and then i got a tournament tomorrow night with mr andres flair so thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed this one i'm out of here peace i'm not sorry i can't help this love like mine <laughs> i'm not sorry i can't stop with a love like mine